Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Ted Carr, and if you've been watching this channel for any great length of time, you'll know that I'm all about focusing on the fruit. You'll know that I'm about high vibrational food equating to high vibrational moods. And you'll know that I'm all about eating and living in line with nature's design. Because when you eat from the vine, you feel divine every single time. So I'm all about raw veganism, I'm all about fruitarianism, I'm all about fresh raw living foods. That's where it's at. But there are a lot of people out there watching this. I'd say 80, even maybe, dare I say 90, 95% of the people out there watching these videos from me are not eating 100% raw. They're eating cooked food. So if that's you, keep watching. But if you're already eating 100% raw vegan, there's no point in watching the rest of this video. Just go watch another video on YouTube and focus on the fruit. Focus on the fruit, focus on the fruit. Because whatever you focus on, you're going to attract into your life. So if you're already eating raw vegan, honestly, please, I beg of you, just stop watching this video. Alright, so now that we've cleared the room and we've got people here still watching the video who are eating cooked food, maybe on a daily or weekly basis, I want to give you guys a list of the best cooked foods to eat. Now again, I highly recommend you just go focus on the fruit as well, because whatever you focus on, you're going to attract into your life. But if you, for whatever reason, you don't want to be eating 100% raw, you want to be eating some cooked food, then this video is for you, because I'm going to give you the list, maybe like a top five, I don't even know, top five, top six breakdown of the best cooked foods to eat. Now, number one, the best cooked food to eat is cooked fruit. And more specifically, cooked fruit that you can eat raw once it ripens up. So stuff like bananas, plantains, pineapples, tomatoes, zucchini, right? These are all fruits that you can eat in their ripe, raw state. And the reason I, I think they're, best, they're the best cooked food to eat is because it's actually a human food that you would eat raw. You just so happen to cook it, you just so happen to heat it up. But it's still got all of the digestibility factors that you need besides the enzymes that you need and all the vitamins and minerals that you need except they're going to be cooked out of them um, to thrive as a human being. So that's the best cooked food to eat. If you're going to make like a, a cooked soup or something, just fill it with fruit. Make like a cooked fruit soup or something. Uh, and I can't speak from experience, I've never done this before, but if I was going to make a cooked fruit soup, it would just put in all the fruits that you could eat raw put them in there and maybe add some water and boil it up or something. And anytime you have cooked food too, you want to avoid using salt. Never use salt on any of your cooked food. If you have to add salt to it, you are eating food that does not belong in your body because you can add salt to anything and make it taste good. And I'm talking, you can go to the woods, find some bear shit, sprinkle some salt on it, eat that, and it'll be like, it's pretty good. So avoid putting salt on anything. You've got to make, got to learn, learn to make food taste good on its own without salt. If you put salt on something, you're insulting the food. You're saying, food, you suck so bad, I'm gonna add salt to you. Never add salt. Go salt free for sure. The only exception to this is if you're like, damn, I'm at a raw vegan cafe, I'm at a raw gourmet cafe, and I'm ordering like this zucchini noodle dish, and they've got salt on it. Like, okay, I'll just bite the bullet and eat the zucchini noodles or something. For some reason, at these raw gourmet restaurants, I don't know why they put salt on everything. And it, uh, it's not necessary because the food would taste good on its own if they just maybe add a couple more dates to the sauce or something. It's going to taste good. So learn to make your food taste good on its own. So anyways, that's the first best cooked food to eat is cooked fruit that you could eat in its ripe raw state. Now the only reason you'd cook it maybe is if it's slightly under ripe or because you want to get your fix of cooked food. But that's number one. Cooked fruit. Number two would be pasteurized juice. Go to the store, you buy some orange juice, you buy some apple juice, you buy some pineapple juice, or some mango juice, and it says pasteurized on there. Even coconut water. The coconut water you buy in stores, that's not raw, it's pasteurized. It's not going to have the life force in there, but it's going to digest so easy. It's going to digest way easier than any of the other cooked food people are eating. So the second best cooked food to eat and load up on, if you want some cooked food, is pasteurized juice. All right, so if I come to your house and you're eating a cooked food diet now, I should see tons of fresh fruit around, even if it's unripe, and I should open your fridge and see a bunch of pasteurized juice. I, didn't need, I don't even need to open your fridge. I should be able to open your cupboard and see a bunch of pasteurized juice. You should be stocked up on those top two cooked foods. All right, Pasteurized juice and fresh fruit that you're going to cook. Um, the third best cooked food to eat would be cooked fruit again, but cooked fruit that you couldn't eat in its raw state because it's just too tough. So like really mature zucchinis 
or spaghetti squash, or acorn squash, or butternut squash, or pumpkin, right? There's a big list, big menu right there for you. So cooked fruit that you couldn't eat raw. That's the third best. And uh, the reason I say that's the third best is because it's a fruit still. It's, it's still a fruit. It's got seeds in it, and it's got really easy to digest fiber, and they're super low calories. So you go on Google and type in like calories in a spaghetti squash or something. There's only like, I don't know, 100 or 200 calories in a big squash, and it fills you up, man. It's gonna keep you super full. And it, from my experience in the past, it has not been addicting eating these spaghetti squashes anywhere, anywhere near as close, I shouldn't say. It's still slightly addictive, but nowhere near as addictive as eating other stuff like potatoes and grains and stuff. So that would be the third best right there. Cooked fruit like pumpkins and squashes and stuff. I think the fourth best cooked food to eat would be steamed or boiled vegetables, like carrots or broccoli or something. Um, they're going to be super low in calories as well, but they can, give, they can get rid of your fix. They can get rid of your craving. They can give you your fix and get rid of your craving for cooked foods. So just boil up a bunch of carrots. That's what I used to do. I used to boil up a bunch of carrots, and then I'd boil up maybe some garlic as well, maybe some ginger, and boil up some onions as well in there. And then I would strain it all once it's all been boiled and then I would blend it up and I would just have like this kind of like this um, instead, instead of mashed potatoes it was mashed carrots and I had my onions and, and garlic in there and uh, onions and whatever else I had in there. Garlic, ginger, onions, that sort of thing. Um, and peas as well, you can put some peas in some, if you go to the store and buy frozen peas or frozen corn as well, make sure it's organic, frozen corn otherwise it's GMO. But if you go to the store and buy a frozen bag of frozen corn or frozen peas, just know that stuff's already cooked. It's already blanched. Um, all you got to do is kind of reheat it, add, add some water to it. Um, and then you're good to go. That's your cooked food right there. You just add all that together. The carrots, the peas, the garlic, the onions, the ginger. Blend it all up, and there's your, like, mashed carrot mix. So that's the fourth best. I don't really want to go too much further down the list because then we're getting into some really addictive stuff. So I'm not even going to go there. Um, I just gave you the four best cooked foods to eat. And the reason I'm not going to mention any of the other cooked foods is because if I even mention them, it's going to implant an image of them in your head and you're probably going to want to go and eat them. So having said this, having said these, the top four here, I want to encourage you to focus on fresh fruit like apples, oranges, bananas, mangoes, papayas, coconuts, nectarines, peaches, pears, plums, apricots, grapes, um, lettuce, spinach, you know, fresh enzyme rich living foods this is the diet that's going to make you feel your best and if you are going to eat any of these cooked foods i listed here keep them to a minimum keep them to an absolute minimum and and load up on on, on the other stuff some other fresh raw living foods that you want to be eating a lot of i would say personally would be avocados and dates if you're eating avocados dates and bananas you're going to have all of your calorie needs met if you need some variety Add in some frozen berries, add in some apples, add in some, make some different smoothies. If you're looking for some recipes, check out my clean and simple recipe ebook. Link in the description. And if you're looking to do a 30 day raw food challenge, go to the 30dayrawfoodchallenge.com and sign up for that. That would be amazing to see you in there. If you're already eating cooked food but you want to be doing raw food, then go to the 30dayrawfoodchallenge.com and you can sign up. The next one starts November 1st, which is like in just a couple days, or if maybe by the time you're watching this, it's already up. So you're going to have to wait for the next one, which might not be for a few months. But uh, yeah, I, I hope this video is helpful. It definitely would have proved helpful for me many years ago if I was just getting into the raw food diet. Um, and one more thing i got to say is if you do want to eat raw, watch people on YouTube who are eating raw. Don't watch anyone on YouTube. Don't watch anyone on YouTube who's eating cooked food. Don't watch anyone on YouTube who's even talking about it. Just focus on the fruit. Focus on the fruit. Focus on the fruit. Do what you know to work, all right? The raw vegan diet works when you're getting enough high-quality fruit in to meet your calorie needs, to meet your nutritional needs, and you're around people who are supportive, if not in-person supportive, then online supportive. And uh, it also works if, if you're doing some fitness, if you're doing some meditation as well to take care of your mental state because diet is not everything. If you want to feel your best, you got to take the holistic approach. So get outside, breathe in some fresh air, Get some fitness in 
and uh, do some meditation to take care of your headspace. All right, hope you got something from this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And hit the big, fat, red, juicy subscribe button. That would mean a lot. Thank you so much. Peace.